That's got to be the best view of this entire trip, has it not? I'll be honest, after five days, dehydrated meals are shit. Honestly, you don't look for who looks forward to one of these, man? I know I might be going OTT here, but what I'd do for a flaming Cheetos burger from Barney's on Manny Road in BFD, curly fries, can of Coke. Oh. I have never heard rain like this. So loud. Morning. Well, I'd be lying to you if I said I felt 100% this morning because I feel a bit rough. Don't know what it is. I woke up at like six o'clock. What time is it now? It's half seven now. It's half seven in front. Eh? It's half seven in front. So I woke up at six o'clock. All oh, freezing, man. Don't know what we're going on. It's been blowing a gale out there. Last night with them thunderstorms and lightning was mental. I actually fell asleep just watching Top at Tent. It just kept lighting up. And then I hear that thunder. I'd drop off and then you'd get another massive loud roar of thunder and that'd wake me up again. But anyway, it must have stopped because I fell asleep. And this morning, yeah, I just feel tired, man. Not physically, I don't think. I think my legs feel okay. I'm sure I'll find out once I start trying to walk. But I just feel like I could sleep. But, <sighs> excuse me. But I have had a lot of sleep, so I shouldn't need to sleep. Half seven. It's half seven in France. I reckon we cook some breakfast. I left this out on purpose. It's chance for Firepot to redeem themselves. This is going to be posh pork and beans. Beans and sausages, right? This doesn't have to be fancy. Give me a tin of beans and sausages any day of the week. So I don't think they can mess this up. Three types of beans is where it could start to go wrong. I don't know. Anyway, let's get fired up. We'll clean this shit tip of a tent up. Now them gusts out what they were, so it's chilling out a little bit now. And then we'll crack on, and get some mileage. I want to do at least 12 mile today, which doesn't seem long, doesn't seem that far normally. But these hills, man, trust me, leg breakers, knee crunches when you, not leg breakers, knee crunches when you're coming down some of these hills, man, I'm telling you. So while my posh pork and beans is hydrating, we'll mark off where we got to today. So we started off there yesterday with epic views, I do believe, of Mont Blanc. Could be wrong. We joined up with the Tour de Mont Blanc, literally about here. In fact, I had a little break, I had a little coffee break and I had my porridge, we were around there. And then I went all the way up that killer hill. It was pretty much non-stop, all the way up and round, all the way along, until we got to about here. And then that's where we got to the refuge and I had that pizza. So from then on, we went along that ridge, the Gritters, whatever it's called. We followed it all the way around, down here. Then we went to a little restaurant thing there and I got a couple more cans of Coke. And then I walked along a road, which is here. And we are camped just there. So if you can see that as a whole, that's where we started. Camp one, camp two, camp three. Now I'm guessing we're gonna end up about here. Camp four, camp five, and then camp six, I'm gonna try be not far from the edge of the trail because then the following morning I can get up as early as I can and then get back to Kej or Kej and then get from Kej to Albertville, from Albertville to Ansi, from Ansi to Geneva in Switzerland. That's the plan. Well, it's another stunning morning. Look at the sun today, beautiful. 
absolutely stunning I need to get this solar panel charging rapid because one of my power banks is more or less dead now and I've only got one left and we're about halfway in the trip so we should be all right but obviously I need to make sure I've got plenty of charge so I can get my flight home and that and book my train tickets when I get back to England so we've got three full more days of hiking and then a day of traveling it's gonna be a good one, got a good feeling about today. It's gonna to be a banger. Right, let's get this tent packed away. Leave no trace as always. Well, I say no trace, just a little bit of flat grass. Never harmed anyone. Right, let's crack back on, get on this trail, and get some mileage in. So, we camped on that little hill there, I don't know if you can see it. And then, just before this crazy ascent, found a cracking little water source. I'm not filling up all my bottles because I can't be asked with the weight up the hill. I've just got this full now, 750 mil, and then filled one of these as well. I'm four days in now, and I'd say I'm used to my kit, used to that routine, that morning routine, getting everything packed away and that. There's one thing that I wish I'd have brought. Well, I did bring one, but I wish I'd have bought another, so I could bring another, and that's one of these sun hoodies. My original plan, I've got two on, base layers, well they're just t-shirts, really thin, like proper ultra light. And I was gonna rotate them to underneath this, but I'm just finding that's far too warm. Just wearing this sun hoodie as a base layer is more than enough. But I don't really wanna wear the t-shirts on the run because there's no hood and the back of my neck just gets red hot, man, no matter how much sun cream I seem to be putting on. It's burning up. So it means I'm having to wear this same sun hoodie all the time, <laughs> which means shit will be stinking out here. I'm definitely gonna have to try wash it at some point or definitely get another t-shirt from somewhere for that flight home. Cause I wouldn't wanna be sat next to me on a flight or my train journey home. Oh, the two buses that I've got to get. <laughs> Three buses, should I say, to get to Geneva. Man, be stinking. But there's no point worrying about that too much yet because we've got another three, four days of hiking yet. So plenty more time to sort that out. I have got some all-in-one shampoo, face cleaner, clothing cleaner. It's just an all-in-one shower gel sort of thing by Seed to Summit. So, I think I might have to give my stuff a rinse off when I find a really nice clear stream and then just leave it all to dry out. That should be right. As long as we do that on the last day or something, should be cushy. I can't believe my sun cream babbed itself as well. In one of the side pockets on my bag, you can just literally put your fingers in and just scoop up loads of sun cream. It's just been pooling in bottom. I don't know when that happened, man, but the lid fully came off. I don't know how that happened either. You've got to twist it quite a bit to get the lid off. But oh well, at least it's only sun cream. That's our next step. Refuge de Preset. Two hours, 40 minutes. What a stunning valley. Could have camped in here last night, to be fair. But I think I preferred where we were, a little bit higher up.
That's the wake up call you need. I'm frigged. Oh, so good. How cool is this place? Could have spent days exploring this valley alone. Oh, Christ alive. We've got cows on the trail. We've got horns as well. Don't just stand in the middle of the path. Really, buddy? Pure standing in the middle of the path. And now he's getting annoyed because flies are on him. He's walking on the trail in. When we get to the top of this valley, we should be at 2,659 metres. I'm about 2,200 metres now, so we've made some good progress. Gotta get up there now. Whoa, loads of wasps. I mean bees. Let's get out of here. Above the snow line now. I'm at the Col du Grand Fond, 2,671 metres. What a stunning place. Look at that big lump. We've just come all the way from the bottom of that valley. Look at the snow. At least we should get down quicker than we got up. That's got to be the best view of this entire trip, has it not? Just how spiky these mountains are. Looks class. Mega. So I just stopped off at another refuge, 
Got a can of coke for later on. Had a nice little slice of cake or brownie, whatever it was. And then I got a hot chocolate as well. And now I think we're following that path across the side. You just couldn't write it, could you? So I got that can of coke, I put it in my side pocket on my bag, and for some reason, or somehow, it's split. And it's just come all fizzing out, all into the pocket, all down my ass. So now, as I'm walking, I'm just leaving a dribble of Coca-Cola. I've tried to salvage what I could and poured it into a bottle, but I've probably got about 150 mil of it. Wounded. I was supposed to have that tonight as well. Some view of that. And so we've just come down. If I never hear another cowbell in my life, I'll die an happy man. Now I've got a cut right through the middle of them. So we just come all the way down from up there, sort of traversing down those paths that you can see in the grass and then I filled up on water down there and now you guessed it it's up and up and up all the way up over there somewhere and there we are, called the coin Back up at 2,398 metres. This has been toughest day so far. Defo. I'm just coming along all that path. After coming down from up there, and then back on here, and then you guessed it, all the way back down there, over there somewhere. All right, I'm trying to find a spot to camp tonight. We've got an epic view. Well, we've got epic views everywhere, to be honest. Look at these mountains. Just not sure whether to go. Somewhere on here, there is a little farmer's hut there with his cows, but I've not seen anyone driving about and I've been walking along this road for the last hour or so. So maybe that's just where he stores bits and bobs or even I don't know, I don't have a clue about farmers. But anyway, I'm thinking, and then again, I can hear them ding a linging. I have a pitch there, but if I just go up here a little bit. Oh. And then pitch on this one. I'd get in there. And that bit there, it's flat as fuck. Flat as shit, I mean. Big ass drop, but. Look at them roads, man. All them paths. Right, I'm gonna take my pack off, sit down for five, and then I'll make a decision. I've decided I am gonna pitch here, because I've been looking up map. We're gonna be following that path all the way around. And there's a refuge down there, and then you follow it up to another refuge, sort of around that corner. And that was the area that I had in mind to head towards today, but we're well ahead of schedule. And if I do go all the way over there, I might not find a pitch as good as this. So whilst I'm ahead, I'm gonna take advantage of it because we've got some epic mountainous views in the backdrop and we can rest earlier than planned. Longer rest, crack on tomorrow. Should be two more days of hiking after tonight. And it's got nothing to do with the fact that I've got three bars of 5G and it's super Sunday and I don't want to risk not having any signal more than I don't want to risk not being able to find somewhere to pitch. <laughs> Let's get this tent up, man. Now I'm sure you've seen that my tent is actually in a dry bag, which is a good job because that big stain there 
is my can of coke that bust so that's probably going to stain this bag now luckily everything on the inside is in my pack liner otherwise we'd have been in all sorts of trouble with a piss wet through quilt pitched up in the Bonfus Duos 2P. Well I think we pitched up in the nick of time you know because them clouds are looking grim. So in the usual fashion I've just chucked everything out of my bag and I'm ready for Super Sunday with a super view and I cannot wait to crack open them Pringles. I've been carrying them since Wednesday. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Five days and I've been so tempted to just crack them open. But I saved them for this exact purpose. Super Sunday with a super view. Sick. First bit of rain on the entire trip. Luckily I'm in my tent. Well, I've demolished my Pringles. Less said about Super Sunday, the better. Now I need to decide what I'm gonna have for tea tonight. It's been thunder and lightning again already. Seven o'clock, kicking off out there. So, what food are we having? Do I go chicken tikka with rice? I don't fancy rice, man, at all. Spicy pasta arabiata. That is a good shout, actually. Pasta. Yeah. Beef stew with potatoes. Nah. Chili con carne. Spicy pork noodles is a shout. Just everything just tastes like mush, doesn't it, after five days? I'll be honest, after five days, dehydrated meals are shit. Honestly. You don't look for who looks forward to one of these man. I know I might be fucking going OTT here, but what I'd do for a flaming Cheetos burger from Barney's on Manny Road in BFD, curly fries, can of coke. <sighs> oh just had my last Mars bar as well. Shit. Shit shit shit. I've got two Kendall mint cakes left, but I need to save them for the next two days just so I've got something else other than the dehydrated meals. The refuges, I'll go to them if I can. Once you get past the flies, I guess they're not too bad. That cake were all right earlier. But I'm thinking, yeah, I'm thinking I'm gonna go spicy pork noodles. To be fair, I've got enough meals now to have two of these tonight. So I could have spicy pork noodles and pasta carbonara. In fact, do you know what? I'm gonna have pasta carbonara. And then tomorrow, I've got two. And then the day after, I've got two. Sorted.
I have never heard rain like this. So loud. I'm going to try to get some sleep. I'll see you all in a bit. Oh. 3,000 years later. Holy shit, mate. Whoa. That is some rain. <laughs> 